Hi. Well, today's reading has a parable which you may know. It's the one about the mustard seed that was put into the ground and then, do you remember, it grew into that giant bush. And you may have heard in the past it being told that, well, this is maybe about your faith, that you've just got a small amount and you may not feel very important, but don't worry, God's got, God uses everything and grows from little seed into a lot. Or you may have heard the preacher go on to say to you that it's just like the next parable about the yeast. A tiny bit of yeast is added to a flour and it makes the bread rise. Just like a little one like you, God will make you great. Sounds good. But I just wonder, is it really all just about us? Is it just about our personal faith? Isn't it a bit egocentric as a message? Is that really what Jesus is using parables to tell us? Aren't parables meant to help us transform our idea of God and the world? So I just wonder, is it really all that's going on here? Well, I suggest that we firstly look to the key thing about these images, the mustard seed and the yeast. And a key thing, it's not really their size. Because for a first century audience, well, first of all, for mustard seeds, they weren't that small. There were seeds that were smaller. The key thing about the mustard seed was that it's a weed. And the thing about yeast, the key thing about it to a first century audience is that it's dirty. It's unholy. It's not kosher. It's to get rid of, out of the house at Passover. These are not nice things. The mustard seed and the yeast, they're not nice. They're unpleasant. They are rejected. Do you remember last week there was that parable of the wheat and the weeds and Jesus was telling us about our tendency to scapegoat, you know, to make people to be baddies in the world like the weeds and that I say the goody, I'm the good one, I'm the wheat. But actually this is not how the world is. Jesus was telling us last week that we've got it wrong and that we're a complicated mix of good and bad and we're not to judge others. Well, imagine you're a disciple who hears that and it sinks in. And then Jesus says this, that a sower actually plants a weed, like a mustard seed, and then that grows into a great tree. And then the birds that usually peck at and eat that weed, and it's a seed, end up living in it and enjoying it. What if? Just like last week, we said that just like Christians had missed the point of those parables, what if Christians have made a mistake about these parables? It's not really about just focusing on themselves, but actually it's about Christ, the one of love who shows us and the world once again that the world can and is radically different. I just wonder, what if it's a reminder that the creator, the one who loves God as the sower, plants something that will be despised because it takes over, it spreads, just like some fermenting ageing yeast, it takes over the flour and it's inseparable from it and it transforms it. What if that wild weed, that unwanted, rejected weed and yeast is Jesus? The one who is unlikely, born as a fragile baby, whose message of love, of radical non-violence, of losing self to gain self, of a topsy-turvy unlikely message, is the one that spreads beyond the bounds of what is thought to be possible. What if the one of love, that's spreading like a wild weed, is the unlikely one who, if we invite, if we dare to believe that that's the way that God works in the world, then we can be transformed and see the world with new eyes. Maybe it's much less about what we do in our faith. Much, maybe it's much more about how God works and who God is. That God is the one who shows up, that shows us that relationship, that non-violence is a radical way to be in the world. Maybe this is how the world is. 
Maybe it's not about us being a hero and others being awful. It's not about a kingdom or an empire where we have to compete against others and their violence is needed. No, maybe it's one in which the rejected and unlikely God is working. Working for love in hidden, tiny, unseen and yet spreads to bring about love and goodness and we're invited to join in. Amen.